In this video, we cover editing or changing the course styles. Course styles control the appearance of the sub-assemblies or the assembly. And now I will close uh, the properties palette. And before I close, we can also use the properties palette to change the course style. For example, if I click on the assembly here, the properties palette changes. And here for at the data section, you can see course style. Currently we are we we are seeing the all codes code set style. I can change this to something different, basic. As you can see the appearance changes to something else. Let's see also another kind of code set style. All codes with no shading changes to that code set style. Let's see another one. Standard. Standard looks like that. View edit looks like that. All right. Let's go back to the all codes. No dis all codes. No display looks like that. Let's go back to all codes. That's how it looks like. And then close the properties palette. Okay. We can create our own code set styles. How do we do that? We can close here and uh, turn on the tool space. Here at the settings tab, you can expand the general option there and also expand multipurpose style. When you expand that, you will see the code set styles here. And here you have the list of all code set styles that we are changing. All, all codes, all codes, no display. All codes with hatching, basic, standard view edit. All code set styles are here. To create a code set style of your own, you can click here. Click on new. Or you can edit an existing one. For example, we can edit all codes. Let me just edit this. Copy first, and then I edit. Let's call this re one code set style. And then you go to the codes. We have different codes. We have link, uh, the link codes. We have the point uh, codes. And then we have the shape codes. Let me change the shape codes because these are the ones which will mainly uh, be noticed when they're changed. Okay. For the Pavement one, this is what I want to change. Pavement two, the sub base and the base. This is what I want to change. Pavement one, here I can change this uh, shape style called pavement one. I can create, I can copy current and create another one. Call it pavement one rd dash one, and then I'm only changing the display. The borderline, I can change it to something else to this color, for example, and then the shape color I can change it to something that looks more like asphalt. So that is the shape, uh, the shape color. And then I apply pavement two, the same. I create a copy. I call it pavement two dash 
one and then I change the display of that shape the fill area this is what I'm going to change to that color and then the sub is I create a copy And here for the sub is, I'll do something very interesting. We put that color. And then for the pattern, I will select something different here. Let me look for, for gravel. Okay. And then probably change the scale to that. We'll see how that appears. We did not change the name. And then for the finally for the biz. Change the name to RD-1. Go and change the display. And then you can change the you can change the the pattern to that, for example. See how that will look, and then we apply. Click OK, OK, and then we apply. And now we have our RD-1 course style. And here it is. Under the course styles, we have our RD course style. So we can select our assembly and click on Control-1 to display the properties palette. And here I can go select the RD-1 course style. And that's how it looks like. Okay, so the gravel is not being seen properly. We'll just go back to the RD-1 and edit it. Change that to a smaller figure. There you, you go. You can now start seeing the, the ships. After we select a smaller scale, you can now start seeing the, the shapes or the patterns that we selected. And the colors have changed and we've created our own code system.